Well, after four glorious days here at the Jumeirah Golf Estates on the Earth Course at the 2014 DP World Tour Championship, we're going to wander around the golf course and capture one or two of the magic moments from the European Tour Golf Day. And who knows, there may be a few stories to be told at the end of the day about all the balls that we've lost. But let's head out on the golf course and capture a few of those special moments. Oh, hang on a moment, what's happening here? Now, it's a Texas scramble. You don't need to retrieve that ball. But it's our favorite golf ball. We've had it for years and years and years. Pro V number four. Hang on a moment. Oh, 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 now, now, now. We've been looking for the ball for 20 minutes. There we go. We can carry on playing now. Now, oh, come on, Gallant. Let's have a good shot here. From the Emirates Golf Federation. Oh, now, 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 we... Oh, we're having more problems. We've been out here for eight and a half hours and we've been in more ponds and lakes than the local ducks. Now, Sirik, Salt and Gali. An outside chance for Bernie for the team and so many great players at this 18th hole have triumphed. And can this great player make the part? That is not bad. And a nice safe par for the team. Now, one man that's doing a great job is Curtis Lamin. He was one of the professionals here at the Jumeirah Golf Estates and now working over in Kazakhstan and doing a fine job promoting the game of golf. Now, come on, Curtis. All you've got to do is knock it in the hole. Oh, what a great putt. The ball very nearly goes in, so a safe par for the pros team. Now, a few of the teams were having their little problems as well this afternoon, so conditions pretty tough and a little white ball won't do what it's told. Now from the Dubai Duty Free team, conjust 100 yards to go to the green on the 18th hole and Yes, we stand back in the look of amazement as that little ball has found its way nicely onto the putting surface. Now, Nick Brewer, 19 handicap, professional bandit. Uh, There's a wonderful shot there and great leg work there. The right leg is sponsored by Superglue. A third member of the group, Gary Byrne. Come on, Gary, wearing his school uniform and... He was the head boy at his grammar school many years ago and he was captain of the school team and today leading the team along like champions. And finally, after his little fishing problems, Neil Chansom was here this morning at four o'clock on the driving range hitting ball after ball after ball and that is a magnificent golf shot and well done and a good chance for a birdie for the team. So, first green, Ismail Sharif. Putt for a birdie and they've moved the hole, but a great left-handed golfer and Bubba Watson talks about him and Mickelson says he's one of the finest new left-handers emerging on the golfing scene. So, the the team from the Hamouj in, in Oman had the pleasure of returning back there to the NBO Classic recently, a wonderful course. And it's the charity team, Steve Pickering, who's just hit that wonderful golf shot there. And it's amazing how many great players you see with towels hanging on their right hips. They're supporting the Autism Charity and the Lady Captain, Avis Pickering. Another great player and nice swing there, no problems at all. And she's a star player in the team and 
played for a year or two and won championships all over the world. Now, Mohamed Awali. Now, come on, Mohamed. Let's have a good shot here. He's got a free wood that's nearly as big as him. Oh, what a great shot. Look at that there. Yes, Mohamed, you have hit your best shot. Henrik Stenson and even Justin Rose would be delighted with that. And finally, Steve Johnson. Yes, yeah, another great man there, and there's a great job down at the Amouge Golf Club, and, and the team absolutely delighted. Yes, and it's nice to see that the Red Arrows have turned up as well. Skilled international, four great golfing characters. Well, from Westchester, New York, Mike Merritt, playing off 10 handicap, and another man that's got a wonderful feel around the greens, and... That's a nicely executed shot, and may just save that par for the team. Dave McEwen plays at D-side up in the north of Scotland, and one of the great characters, and all the golfing great Sam Torrance, even Tom Morris talks about this man, one of Scotland's finest golfers. Graham Eglintine, now come on, Graham. Let's have a good one here. Member of the, the home club, sir. There'll be no problems for the man here who's got that wonderful touch like the midwife and that perfect delivery. And finally, Kevin Smith. Now, come on, Kevin. Yes. Team free under par and and looking to save that shot. That was a great shot there, well played. So, on the 50, Scott Watson playing of one handicap, just waiting for the players in front to get past the ladies' tee. Big tournament for these lads, the JR Challenge. All the boys from Hampshire, they've grown up together and they've watched their idol progress to become one of the greatest players in the game of golf. So here we are. Nicely past the ladies' tee, so we're ready. Ooh, now, I don't know whether we'll see that again. It may well be on its way to Abu Dhabi. Now, Happy Gilmore, Paul MacDonald, plays of two handicap. Team are a few under, and that's a nice swing there, and no problems with stand back, and just watching it sailing off some 300 yards down the centre. And finally, Richard Porter. Now, the tournament, I believe, is a free round Stapleford for the JR Trophy. And there's a man, if you want to have a wager on, he could well be the, the favourite. Ah, oh, John McGlashan uh, plays of two handicap, and he's a member of the North Hands Golf Club, and today he's having a pearl of a round, and he's losing ball after ball after ball, and uh, and another ball ventures off into the water. We've lost 21 Pro V so far, and we've had an hour's sleep all week. Now, from the world of rugby, question of sport, Matt Dawson. Now, here's a man that enjoys his golf. Be no pressure on this man that's been on every stage there is, and the look of concentration, focus on the flag, feet together, left foot out, right foot out. He was the Hampshire Hokey Cokey champion when he was a young lad. Oh, now, now. Now that ball has ventured off to the right. Somewhere deep in the jungle. Yes, that's it. Now, you see, that's it. When we were on the driving range, we were hitting it perfect. But never mind. Today, we were going to have a caddy, but we were advised we'd be better with a sniffer dog. 
Now, with Matt deep in the jungle, Mike North. Now, come on, Mike. The yellow shirt on, so he can't be lost today. And Knees forward. He used to ride the 315 at Ascot. Oh, no, no, no. Now, there's another ball. Yes. We'd have been better kicking it, lad. Now, now, now the team are in desperate need of Georgie Porter. Now, come on, George. We haven't got a ball on the short stuff yet. Been out here for hours and and another shot ventures off deep in the middle of those trees on the right-hand side. So, we've been out here for seven hours and we just hope that we'll get in time for closing time. Now, you see, this game was not supposed to be played this way. We've been a few places and we're progressing nearer and nearer to the hole as time goes by. Ah, the ninth hole. One of the great players in the game of golf and and what it must feel like be back on the Monday qualify for the JR Challenge. A wonderful performance here. Justin Rose. And no problems. Four under par himself after eight holes. So the three round tournament looking very much the favourite. So, playing alongside him, Chris Allen, two handicap and wearing his gay boy golf shoes today and that is a, a nice drive there and that ball, believe it or not, absolutely perfect. And the look of amazement after having so much to drink yesterday. Right, come on Jonas, six handicap and he's had seven pars and a few beers and and just trying to keep up with the maestro, Mr. Rose. There we go, feet out, open up the shoulders, big lad. Oh, look at that there. Yes, he's an ugly looking fella, he's not been blessed with his looks. Brandon, known as Brandino, all the girls down at the Atlanta say, Brandino's coming down for a, a week or two and the old book out and and here he is, a little bit of a waggle. He's beyond Strictly Come Dancing at Christmas. And there you go, Brandino. Just remember, if he's ever around, make sure that you don't ask him for a game. It'll take weeks. So the first hole. Mr. BMW, Gubak Singh. Playing second shot and 230 yards to go and... Been a great player. He's won tournaments all over the world, and and that's another splendid golf shot. And there we are, the celebrations. We've hit the green, and the perfect drive of that five series. I'm playing alongside him, Praveen Sharma. Now, come on, Praveen. The BMW teamer. Very much in contention for this championship today. Ooh, now, you see, there's not many great golfers that can line up on one side of the ball, take off, and nearly finish up facing in the opposite direction, and still hit it in the direction of the green. Now, come on, Sandeep, that's it. I just wish we'd have been another foot taller. Here we, oh, hang on a moment. Here we go. You see, if we'd have eaten our school dinners, we'd have been a really big lad. Now, here we go. Dad's nicely up by the green, and all we've got to do is hit that perfect second shot. Oh, and look at that there. What a champion player. Look at that. Yes, a future champion of the DP World Tour Championship. And the fourth member of the team, Andrew Robinson. Now, come on, Andrew. Six handicap. Experienced golfer. Played in the very first Ryder Cup. Back in 1927. So playing the game for donkey's years. And there you go. Well done, young man. Uh, it's a great shot there. And BMW uh, on fire today. Carl Johan Sandersjö from Sweden. Member of the Seven Days team. And Stenson talks about this man. Saying he's one of the, the great players from Sweden. And. He's won so many tournaments, a national champion back in 1959. 
Ivor Prestwood now. Playing of 13 handicap. Little waggle, nice little bit of leg work. Great centre position and and a, ooh, and a, an interesting technique. It made Jim Furyk's swing look marvellous. Well done. I think the ball has worked its way into the green and the team are pretty happy. Nice to see Mark Ricks. The captain of the Seven Days team is wearing his Adams Junior range of golfing clothing. It's on page five of the catalogue. Keen golfer and wins a few events and and a lovely little pose on the follow through there. And we've never been that far on holiday. We will if we go by Emirates. And finally, Happy Gilmore, Paul Preston. Now come on, Paul. 210 yards. That's the way. Team are going along very well and a few on the par. And Uh, it's a nice swing there, and uh, stand back and just watch it sailing into the middle of the green. And a chance for another birdie for the team. Now the perfect drive at the fifth hole with Tom Luke from Germany, one of another one of the great German golfers. They can play some good football as well, and that is an amazing golf shot. Yes, look at that there. Take a bow. He says, can you follow me around? I've just hit my best shot of the year. Well done. Well done. Now, follow that. Jerry Donaldson. And the team are really going along quite steady. And he's one of the athletes here. And a fine figure of an athlete. He used to be one of triplets. And he managed to eat the other two. Oh, and look at that there. If the German man can do it, so can this man. Yes, and a chance also for Birdie and a fine golfer and wins so many tournaments. Now from Australia, David Heatherman. Now come on, David, let's have a good shot here. Ooh, we've just clean topped it. We had 100 yards to go. We've now got 75 yards to go. Went along the ground, known as a sister-in-law. Nice when you're there, but you don't tell anyone you've been there. Yes, and the Atlantis team going round in fine style today. Now, oh, come on, Steve. Steve Simpson from the Atlantis team, and they keep moving that hole, but never mind, they should walk out of it with a nice steady par. Now, oh, come on, Jerry. Just imagine we're putting for half a crown. And all we've got to do is knock it in the hole. Oh, so close. Now, come on, Tom. Uh, it's all on your shoulders. Roll this one in and we'll just keep moving nearer and nearer the top of the, the table. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Nice par, and we can just move on. So, Andrew Westman used to play out in Dubai here, and now playing down in Australia at the Lakelands Golf Club, one of the great Jack Nicholas golf courses, and he's played for many years, and played on the Seniors Tour, and he won lots of money. He's a golfing legend. A few Ryder Cups and a couple Open Championships. And Jenny Hoskins, the Chief Marshal. And what a grand last year. She's done a great job this week. And these girls, they used to be the Tiller girls down at the London Palladium. Jimmy Tarmuck and Bruce Forsyth. They remember them well. Now, from those days at the London Palladium, Jeanette Taylor enjoying her golf down at the Emirates. And that is a wonderful drive as the ball sails off over those bunkers some 350 yards away. Now, oh, come on, Jenny. Enjoys her golf. Plays at Bearwood Lakes. 
and also over here at the Emirates when she's around. But done a great job and uh, got all the players round. She's had a few gin and tonics. She's falling over with that driver now. She's nearly fell over on that one, but she launched it like Hendrik Stenson. And finally, Sue Westman. Now, come on, Sue. Oh, ooh, Sue, Sue, Sue. Now, we were going to really hit that one, but never mind. Yes, you see, the gin and tonics are working wonders. Now, Keith Wilkes, a pro sports team from Dubai Golf, and here we are on the eighth tee, going for the big launch. Yes, team are pretty happy with the lad there, and and just saying a great shot and a little call from the back there, saying it's about time. Now, Stuart Taylor, now he's, a, he's a good player, this boy. That's a nice shot there, you see. No problems at all there, the lad. He still hits it down the middle. Well, the pro sports team, nicely in position now for the second shot. Here at the eighth. Osita. Nawando lining up very carefully behind the buggy and and here we go nice and smooth hours and hours of practice on that range this morning having lessons from Peter Cowan and and that's not bad there you see that's the way yeah great shot and finally, Scott McCaw. Now, come on, Scott. Team uh, 10 under par and only a few holes to go. So these boys are looking very strong in the tournament. Now, and nicely down the middle of the first fairway. And where would you expect this great lady player? The winner of so many golf tournaments, Madhu Badia. Now, come on, Madhu. Oh, and a lovely shot there. That is a wonderful swing. She's won tournaments. U.S. Ladies Open champion. A big money winner on the LPGA Tour. Now, when you need a doctor in the team, Dr. Rakish. Now, come on, doctor. All we've got to do is prescribe the perfect golf shot and there's a good shot, and the team is saying, looking good. Now, come on, Div Allen. Let's have a good one here as well. The Rolex team. They're just ticking along in the right direction, and that's a good shot there. You see there's not many great players that line up like this man, take off and face the hole on the follow-through and still knock it some four feet from the flagstick. Great shot. Now, here's the maestro, Arkesh. Now, Plays of two handicap, and he'll have been inspired by watching all these great players. And even Justin Rose here today, playing in the JR Challenge. And a little bit of similarities to Justin there, and that's a, a marvellous golf shot, Maestro. Now representing the Jamira Golf Estates, Trevor Mace on the teeing ground. Playing of 11 handicap and could be favourites being the local boys and that's a big drive there and we won't be wanting that one back. It's gone miles and miles and miles. Michael Estefanos, now come on, Michael. A little bit of a waggle there, nice and relaxed there and. And a big launch. Yes, that's another one. Boomed it down the middle. And you see, it's the easy old game, isn't it? Andrew Merton, now come on. Here we go. Yes, and a nice swing. Yes, the team are looking pretty solid. And finally... Graham Pascal. 
plays a plus one, so he's a good player. Oh, a lovely shot there, yes. Well done. So here's a team to have a little wager on. The Jamira Golf Estates team could well be the champions. Now the DP World team, David Chalier on the teeing ground. The first hole. Only a few more holes to go and it's a glorious day and it's been a, a wonderful week. Olivier Schwartz on the teeing ground. Oof, it's got to be one of the worst golf swings I've ever seen. It was like an octopus trying to get out of a telephone box. Now I'm playing alongside him, Ian Lee Pelly. Now come on, Ian. Come on now, nice and relaxed. Got a few interesting swings in the bag and... Oh, yes, he just says a bit of brilliance. We've actually hit the fairway for the first time in five hours. And finally, Joss Dare. Now, come on, Joss. What a beautiful swing. Playing partners are admiring the swing and... Really likely, lads. Captain of the team been given the owner's task. And they were so impressed with the boys. Now a few little limbering up swings. Eric Hooper, DP World Team, and here we go. Plays in front and out of the 300-yard range, and oh, we're not holding back on that. Yes, we could be quite happy with that. We'd be absolutely delighted. We've had a wonderful week here. Now, Tom Kemp, he had a bit of good news. He's going to be the new compo in the new series of Last of the Summer Wine. And he'll be coming back to Dubai to play with Nora Batty in the mixed greensomes. Ah, that's a beauty, yes. And yeah, we pull out our best when the camera's on. And finally, Colin Smith. That's a good one. Yes, no problems. Team going along steady. After the perfect tee shot for the DP World Team, Paul Neat has the chance to really excel now. Second shot to the first screen. 195 yards to go. Oh, and that's a great golf shot. Well done there. And yes, a champion golfer, former Ryder Cup player and a golfing legend. As we come to the final group of the day, if you haven't been caught on camera, you've been quite lucky. But the DP World number one team, Alistair Mackey, a short pitch to the 18th green. And we've just skinned it straight into the water. Yes. Not a pretty shot, but never mind. Hours and hours of practice required. Now, if we're needing a little bit of inspiration, Simon Pitow, known as Bubba, to his friends. All we're going to do is flick it on the green and one putt. Birdie, and that's... Uh, it's a nice shot there, and... No problems, yeah. You got an outside chance, well done. Now, third member of the group... Gareth Madsen. Now, come on, Gareth. Plays off 12 handicap and a professional bandit. Oh, Gareth, lad. We've just... We had 100 yards to go. We now have 89 yards. We've just fluffed it. Never mind. Penny for the thoughts. And finally, James Salsby. Now, come on, James. All we've got to do is help the team out. St 
started off as favourites, these boys. And it's a nicely executed shot. So at the end of the day, Simon became one of the best fishermen and could always go on and say, he's had a marvellous round of golf. So I hope everybody's enjoyed the day here on the Earth Course on the European Tour Golf Day at the DP World Tour Championship. And I'm sure there'll be many stories to be told about all the great drives. Maybe the little tiddlers that didn't go in the hole, but I look forward to seeing you all again on another occasion. And remember, if I land on your fairway, I shall say hello. But if you land on my fairway, you can always say that you've learned a trick shot. <laughs>